guys, I'm the Wiz back at it again with another video with some very interesting Kingdom Hearts 3 news and information. That's what we're going to be talking about right here, right now. So let's get right to it. Okay, so this is what we have over here. Nomura is commenting on why Kingdom Hearts 3 got delayed, and it's something we none of us actually guessed. So, alright, let's go ahead and read. The timing of release that we were actually looking at, we were told by many people, including hardware manufacturers, marketing teams, sales teams, that it just wasn't a good timing in the year. Nomura said via translation, explaining that the difference in holiday lengths and how stores behave in different regions were a note of concern. For Kingdom Hearts 3, the Square Enix Western offices had requested to release the game as simultaneously as much as possible between Japan and America. So we were no longer able to just think about the Japan about Japanese issues and retail situations, the more said. Alright, let's stop right there. That right there, thank you, Western offices. It sounds like Japan was going to be getting this game a lot earlier than the, the, the U.S. And I'm talking like possibly like two weeks to even a month. As we all know, Japan is still getting the game four days earlier. But I mean, you know, four days compared to a month is a pretty big difference. Last time when it came to Kingdom Hearts 2.8, they, they ended up getting, I believe, 12 days earlier. And 12 days, man, that's a lot more than four days. I'm already struggling deciding whether or not I want to avoid spoilers. I probably won't avoid it. But... We'll see what happens, but thank you, Western offices, for telling them that. So, yeah, but, yeah, I'm super glad, I'm super happy, because it sounds like Japan might have been getting the game a lot more sooner. But, let's get, go ahead and continue on with that. With that in mind, the more said that the team set its sights on January. Though they considered some alternatives, we, of course, considered maybe speeding up development to release earlier, hey! Then we were told that wasn't good, but the development team said that, no! We just couldn't do that. We could delay it, but we couldn't make it any sooner. Um, the team now has some extra time to continue refining the game as the release approaches. Do Nomura explain, and as that date... Oh, wait, actually, that's it. Yeah, okay, so, huh. Really, really interesting. So, they wanted to release the game in January, I guess maybe to avoid competition. It sounds like they were aiming for that, you know... Uh, October, November, December release time, but you know, a lot of good games come out around that time, and it's the holidays, you would think that would be the best time to go ahead and release Kingdom Hearts 3, but then again, you've got a lot of competition, uh, like, you know, Spider-Man, um, it's probably like a new Call of Duty game, yeah, so Square Enix probably wants to avoid all that and be like, yo, okay, no other games are out, all the other ones you've already played, it's time to go ahead and pick up Kingdom Hearts 3. And some things that I've actually been seeing on the internet is that maybe the reason why Japan is still getting it earlier is because it is because um, you know the English version just isn't you know finished yet. I mean, localizing it does take a little bit longer. I mean, if you go ahead and pay attention, you know the tangled things that we've seen so far. We still haven't heard anything in English. What is going on with Mandy Moore, the English voice actor for Rapunzel? Maybe she's just a little bit too on the busy side. She does, after all, have tangled um, Rapunzel's adventures. I, they changed the title. I forget, but it's tangled the series on Disney Channel and she is voicing Rapunzel there so maybe she's just too busy and hasn't had the time to do it yet but nonetheless guys it seems as though it's more of a marketing strategy wise as to why the game is getting delayed I'm surprised it's nothing like oh no we got to work on that more we need more time on this extra world we got to do this no it sounds like the game was on track and it was ready to be like you know handed out they was like yo we can't speed it but, like, you know, we can delay it if you want. Yeah, no, I remember even seeing um, during the E3 time, like, the guy was like, oh, yeah, uh, the ending of Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> I, you know, I can't talk about it, of course, but, you know, I've seen it because I've worked on it and everything. Yeah, it sounds like this game is, like, practically done. And, you know, English people just need to, you know, finish the voices, do that stuff. Localization, again, takes some time. But, yeah, that is basically it for this video, guys. The reason why Kingdom Hearts 3 was delayed. What do you think, guys? I mean, if they didn't do this, again, Japan might have gotten it way more sooner and all those spoilers would have been over there. So, guys, leave all your comments on the comment section below on what you think of the situation. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up as it really helps me out. And until next time, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say bye, pal. We'll see y'all real soon. <laughs>